Mm. But I'm not going to. It's four. Okay, the recording has started and we are ready when you boys are. Oh fuck, okay. Um damn. I've had OBS not expect I've had OBS open for a while. <laughs> I was not expecting to get into it like that. Okay. Um all right, um, welcome. Yeah. Welcome uh, to Fist. Roll the intro. Roll that intro. Welcome to Fist of the Empire, where once a week I lead four of my friends through a journey across the Star Wars galaxy. So sit back and enjoy the ride. Let's roll. On my life, I will find whatever bit of hell you've dug yourself into, and I'll kill you again. I fight with those that I trust and respect the most. It's becoming increasingly difficult to tell who is on the right side of this war. Considering we're doing a time skip, I'm going to say it's safe to assume that I have recovered my health. Well, I haven't no. survived yet. We don't know. I survived. It technically ain't been this time skip yet. No. I'm we still, still wait to see if uh, <laughs> I'm still dead in my face. <laughs> Cause I got sucked. Yeah, you did. And that's the review. <laughs> or that's the recap. <laughs> yeah, people are fucked right now. Yeah. And not and that... in the fun way. And that is essentially the entire recap. If you didn't, if you don't know what we're talking about, go watch the last episode. <laughs> Up now on youtubecom slash Sellout. <laughs> there we go. Much better. Okay. So, um, I mean, are we, are we gonna leave the recap at go watch the last episode? Yes, yes, we are. Pretty much. <laughs> that is fine with me. Okay. So. So let's kind of go into the minds of everyone for a moment. So, Jax, mm -hmm. you were in, you were still in this hangar bay, having just fired upon essentially brothers to, in an attempt to save someone who. You now have seemingly more devotion to than your average stormtrooper. Um, you look around at a couple of the crum crumpled bodies. And you begin to wonder what really is important to you is it the empire is it your close crew what is it links you are standing looking down from from a few feet away you're not like standing directly over the grand inquisitor's body but mm -hmm. you're sta you're standing looking over at it smoldering the smell of the charred flesh is already kind of wafting in the air you look over to Vader and Palpatine who 
have already begun to turn around and walk back into the corridor. Completely unfazed. And then you look over at Jafon's body. Laying there, still. Barely the slightest hint of breathing. And you're watching it fade, too. Jafon. Mm. You, your eyes open. But you're no longer in the same chamber in which you collapsed. You're in what still remains of memories of your childhood home. Except something seems a little bit different to you now. As if it's a new memory you never knew you had. And you see your mother standing over you. With who you know to be your childhood doctor, essentially. Okay. And your mother goes, so will this have any effects on him cognitively? What, what will this do to him? To which your childhood doctor replies, well, it may cause more common loss of memory, um, less rational in his life, but it will stop the transfer, and that is what is important, and it will erase these memories of the transfer. Um, I mean... We don't have to do it, but with this much energy building up within him, this is what th this is what the elder gave us, and it's what we have to try. And your mother replies, "Yes, but you know how I feel about that witch magic." Go ahead. I can't lose him. And your doctor bends down towards you and injects something into your shoulder. And the vision fades, pulls back. And then your eyes open again, completely anew. You feel invigorated even until you begin to move and realize that your legs are broken <laughs> um and you look around and you see <laughs> the well mutilated body of the grand inquisitor do i see anyone else Actually, roll a perception check. This is going to be a disadvantage because I'm face in the floor. Uh, yeah. That, nope. <laughs> Don't see a damn thing. What was the roll? Uh, negative, or a negative. Natural one with plus five, so six. You see, ah. you see links and like the security officer standing around. Just gonna slightly hear me say, 
Well, that's interesting. <laughs> And Lynx, it's at this moment that you fully realize that Jafon is, in fact, waking up. Well, if that's the case, I'm definitely going to be pulling out a basic med pack and using it on him. The security forces allow you to. Okay. I forgot how to use a med pack. So, so if it's a basic, um, mm -hmm. let me get it pulled up. So it is one hit die plus their constitution modifier. So Spencer, roll a hit die and add your constitution. Trying to remember what my head die is. I think it's an eight. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Uh, six plus four, so ten. You heal. You heal ten points, and you feel. A slight bit of the pain in your legs recede. Just a slight bit. Thanks. Pick me up. <laughs> I'm barely keeping myself up, man. Just put me on my knees. I don't care. <laughs> You wouldn't be able to stay on your knees. Oh, uh, that's true. And uh, then I'll just this, stay down here. <laughs> I will. I will pick him up and put him on his butt. Okay. Like I will shift him to where his legs are just like out in front of him, and he's sitting on his butt. And that's when um, Palpatine and Vader walk back in. And they walk all the way down to the two of you. They overlook the both of you and they look at each other and then Palpatine looks down at you, Jafon. And he goes, do not disappoint me. And then they leave. Just gonna look at Lynx and be like, what was that about? <laughs> Well, before you decide to wake up from your nap, the Emperor uh, decided that you are now the one in charge of your fellow brothers. Oh. All right. And then... And then it smacks you in the face that what he means by that is Grand Inquisitor. <laughs> oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say that I reached down and like, because I probably still have the pin in my hand from the Grand Inquisitor, and I pin it to his uniform. I think you'll need this. Oh uh, shit. And then you start to remember all the other Inquisitors who are well above you who this position should be going to and you're like, oh god. The fifth is going to kick my ass. That's for another day. Jax. 
Mm-hmm. You all hear multiple footsteps running down the corridor that you had originally come through. Oh, shit. And around the corner comes two death troopers, a couple of storm troopers, a couple of security officers led by Admiral Thrawn. Mm. And the first thing Thrawn does is aims his pistol at all of you and goes get him off that transport now are you talking about Jafon Inquisitor Dalo yes I'm gonna send two of my troopers I'm going to send uh Das and Bravin to check the transport okay Thrawn walks over to you, still with his pistol, up and goes, I didn't realize they'd put you on duty to transfer him. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. in the vague, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, if he's not on that ship, I'll have to go and find him. And your, your so so your two privates come off, and they immediately hit the encrypted com- comms between the squad and say, "Sergeant, he's not in there." So now you're met with this opportunity. Do you want to lie to Thrawn or do you want to tell him the truth and Thrawn go find him? Hmm. Hmm. Fuck. All right. Hmm. Well, I know he's kind of with me on this side from keeping him going. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, indeed. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Tonight, because tonight I am. What? <laughs> tonight I am my life, why not? <laughs> Woohoo! Mm. I'm going to pull Thrawn aside. And uh, talk to him. Okay. Where nobody nobody else can hear. He goes. He steps over to the side with you. He goes. What is this? He's not. Choose your words. He's not. No. Then I need to go find him. Wait. If he's not on the ship, they were taking him somewhere else. Because we were coming to keep him from getting on that ship. You realize you're telling this to an admiral. I mean, if you was coming to get him like we were, um, I mean, we're... If you want to court-martial me, do it. I don't care. I was protecting my friend. Do they have any info on where he might be? I ain't got to that part yet. I know I got one of the purge troopers here. Well, um... We can interrogate him. We can. But I don't think we'll need to. And he turns, he kind of 
straightens it, or straightens himself out, and he walks over to the purse trooper, kneels down beside him, and after a couple moments, he stands up and goes, I never even brought him here. Hmm. And he's still supposed to be en route here. So either they've had a hard time getting hold of him or they're coming. So what are we going to say when they get here and see this? Well, because I wasn't expecting you, you wasn't expecting me. Uh, I would like you to roll a perception check. Oh, God. <laughs> Against yeah. Thrawn? Uh, I mean, my, my perception's all right, but still. Slide of hand, that's got to be pretty good. It's better than what I normally get. What was the roll? Twelve. So. It's, it's better than what I normally get. It's not until the last second that you hear the rapid beeping. Oh, shit. Hit and the floor! Every, everyone does. As the ship goes kaboom. Hmm. That wasn't supposed to happen. Or was it? Ron looks over at you and goes, Not at all. That was planned. I think I know by who. Who? Gideon. Or Tarkin. Moff Tarkin did that. He's after all of us. I know it's a strong accusation, but... Another perception check. God! Mm. Ah! My perception check... My perception sucks. And though I got a 20 in wisdom. My perception uh, that's sucks. A, that's a natural one there, bud. <laughs> so I will let you re-roll uh, that because Thrawn is now aware of things, and I'll say that he aids you. Oh, all right. Natural Let's 20. Just do that. Natural 20. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. Two sides of the same coin. Stuff. Yeah. That is typical me. Rolling that one, next one. Hey, I'm good. I just, that should just be one of our channels. Typical Barnes shit. That's it. <laughs> There's just going to be wide text across screen saying typical Barnes moment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you look at the timestamp 20. Okay. Go on. He's actually going to do it. He's actually <laughs> going to fucking do it. Like I don't do things that we talk about. <laughs> okay. So. You see. about four of the regular stormtroopers and the purge trooper sprinting down the hall. Seize the man! And the rest of everyone starts running after them. And Thrawn looks at, looks at you and goes, come on, we gotta get him. We gotta get him. Let's go. I need him. So. 
Roll me a series of three investigation checks. Three. Yes. Oh god, this even sucks even more. Hmm. Fuck. Well, that one's all right. So, everyone's moving around, running around, you know, chasing, and you know, you're starting to get a little mixed up. And after about 45 minutes of running around chasing, everyone's just running into each other at this point. And you don't know who is who, and the purge troopers nowhere to be found, and you didn't get the taggings for the stormtroopers that were there. Well, that had run off. The only, like... You know, noticeable one was the purge trooper. Was the purge trooper, and he is gone. But I know Thrawn knows all of his men. I know my squad. Hmm. Yep. We're gonna get them all in one spot. Except for the purge trooper. He's a bitch. He ran off like a little bitch. I'm going to look at Thrawn and I'm going to tell him get all of our men, get your death troopers and your seniority officers that was with us. Get them back to the hangar bay. We're going to see if we can flush out some rats that are trying to bleed me in. And Thrawn goes, no. No. We let the rats come back out to us. I understand, Admiral. We don't chase them into their hole. That's where they want us to go. I understand, Admiral. I'll follow your orders. For now, just get your squad, put them together. Yes, sir. And don't rule any of them out. Yes, sir. I know you know your men, but everything was so crazy there, we don't know who ran off. Have you even done a have you done a head count of all your of all your men? Two of them oh. were pretty close to that explosion. So, I'm going to get with my squad. I guess, I guess we would go back to the hangar bay. Yeah. So, I'm going to get with my squad and tell them to take their helmets off. I'm trying to find the note that I have that even has your fucking board members on it. Dilly, Das, Robin, and Oret. Well, yeah, but I'm looking for my specific notes. I thought I, sh I, thought I had one on here that I shared with you. Not that I know of. I just um, kept them down in a fucking Google Doc file. Then real quick, can you send can you send me the names? That's on yeah. me. I yeah. guess I lost it. That happens. Yeah, shit happens. All right, there you go. I sent it to DM through this call. Thank you. Yep. Lucky for you, I keep notes now. Just those names. <laughs> Everything else, I just remember. Or Spencer has it written down. <laughs> <laughs> or I just, Spencer, I need your help. <laughs> help me. 
was what was this one's this. what was the description of this guy? I don't remember. Oh fuck. I don't remember this guy. Uh shit, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and then all you hear is <laughs> <laughs> That's it, just uh, uh. Help me. Okay, hey, so Um, everyone lines up and Tilly takes off her helmet. Tilly. I love Tilly. You've, you've been, you've been with Tilly so long, like, they you, pro you, you probably aren't even like, you aren't even a possibility. Yeah. Um, she, she, she a ride or die. You check on your two that were by the ship, so Braven and Urt. Yeah. And they're fine. Corporal Das isn't taking off their helmet. Oh, shit. I dropped my bottle. Corporal Das. This is a direct order from your sergeant. Take your helmet off now. I can't. Why? I can't look you in the eyes. Mm. And that's when you hear some footsteps from behind, and you hear Tilly shout. It's Doss in different armor. And you turn around, and you turn around, just your head, still keeping your body ready. And you do see Corporal Doss in different Stormtrooper armor limping into the room. Mm. I'm going to lunge at this man. Like, I'm full-fledged about to tackle this man. Okay. Um... So, uh, do a, we will do a, um, a strength check versus acrobatics. Um, so it would actually be you doing the acrobatics, me doing the strength. 16. He actually slips free from you and is going to try to put you into a grab. Mm. So now his, uh, now it will be his, uh, that will be his agility versus your, versus your strength. So strength saving throw. Yes. 13. <laughs> You find you find yourself now in a chokehold with a blaster against your head. Mm. Until he has her weapon raised already, and she goes, "Sergeant, just give me the order. You know I can take the shot." And if I hit you, I know you can take it. 
Is there any way I can grab the blaster? Because he just has me a chokehold. I still have one arm free. You do. So make a, make an agility with disadvantage then. Oh. And he'll also be doing this with disadvantage. Acrobatic or strength? Actually, no. He'd be doing this with advantage because he has the higher ground on you. Uh, for you, it would be it would be acrobatics. Mm, my acrobatics is still good. That's still good. You try to reach up, but you can't. He's got you good. And then the technique feels familiar. Is this what I... Mm. He goes, don't even try to struggle. I'm going to speak in Mandalorian. To see if he talks back. I'm going to ask him if it was Tarkin in Mandalorian. No response. Okay. But you can tell that there is understanding. I'm just going to look at Tilly and give her just a slight nod. Okay, so, so now so. I'm going to roll a shot for Tilly. And if she misses, it hits you. If it hits, it hits him. Now, it would hit you and him. Yeah. Come on, Tilly. And if it's a natural one, then it only hits you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, I do want to warn that because this is a cinematic shot the damage will be higher yeah <laughs> okay What is, what is your health now? Oh, my health's sitting pretty damn good. It's sitting at 140. Okay. Uh, you take 51 points of damage. Uh, mm. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> so she shot you. <laughs> I came back at the wrong moment. Oh, man. Apparently. You should have brought your phone and listened in. I did, but I didn't want to, you know, risk mm. any echo. But, and the mm. hole drops for just a moment. I'm going to, since it drops, I'm going to try it roll free and just give the order to stun. All right. Just roll. Everybody just stun this motherfucker. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Pretty damn good. I think you roll out of the way. Okay. The stuns hit the figure. Restrain him. But he stays standing. Ooh. 
I love a motherfucker with a good challenge. <laughs> I do. And he, he looks <laughs> over at you and he goes, You're not taking me in. One warrior to another. I respect that. But I still got a few more questions for you. I'm not going to answer them. So am I going to leave here or am I not? Well, I basically done got my answer I needed. It's your choice. And he pulls the same blaster up to his head. And fires. Hmm. His body drops. I'm pretty sure she hit me at like the shoulder. <laughs> So yeah, I feel it. Oh yeah, you you you're feeling. I feel I feel it and like. Mm. You're like yeah. Oh, fuck damn. Good shot. Go help Doss. I'm fine. Mm. I'm just gonna be down here for a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to. I, I'm going to get up and walk over to him. And I'm gonna pull his helmet off. Is he a Mandalorian? So real quick, private message me who you think this is. Oh, God. Oh. Meanwhile, me and Lynx are just kind of like laying there just like, ow. Ow. <laughs> pain. <laughs> pain. pain pain nothing but pain pain <laughs> pain pain ow this fucking sucks this <laughs> sucks it is not it is not no. okay but I do know a lot of Mandalorians went with So, oh, with the Empire. Inside check. The face that you reveal is So you pull the you pull the helmet off slowly. Um and you find the face of Lennon Denal. Lennon Denal. Yeah, Nate, Nate. That name sounds familiar. It does. He, because he's your original sergeant. Mm. Mm. And your current, and one of your current commanders. Isn't he the one that was talking all sorts of weird when we went to the mall? Yep. Mm-hmm. Lieutenant Donal. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Damn it, Lieutenant. I need to speak with throwing. And before you stand up, 
Despite the blaster wound to the head, the helmet seemed to have absorbed most of it. He's very likely going to die still. Yeah. But his hand grabs yours and tries to pull you close. So so you do lean, lean in and listen? Yeah. He goes. You know I let the Empire down. But I couldn't let the people down. My data pad. <clears throat> Look for my data pad. That'll tell you the truth. Yes, sir. <laughs> and that's when he fades. The grip loosens. When you see the plastoid plates stop rising and lowering. And you stand up. Now, real quick, I will be right back. It's time for Gary to have a pee, boy. Damn it, I actually loved him. Mm. Fuck, why did I have to kill Why do we have to kill him? Some bullshit. Some bullshit. Y'all want to see my new version of one of my characters I've done? Sure. Let me go to a do do do. Hang on, there he is. Do 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 do. Here we go. Da da da. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I mean, he just looks meaner. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get it on the recording too. Yes, everybody, this is what we do when we're bored as hell. When our DM has to go away for a minute. Yeah. He just looks mean. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> 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 I want to know what it looks like with a helmet. I've never put a helmet on my guys. Mm. Never. Mm. I don't know. I don't really usually like helmets. Uh... Because in my other campaign, yeah, he has a helmet. He has the whole nine yards. Like, mm. My AC for him is like 81 because he's full plate armor. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of like that one. Yes, give him the bucket. <laughs> Swear? Give him the 
Fuck it. Fuck it, helmet. Fuck it. Yeah, that compared to do 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 where it was it? It's up here. I know what it is. <laughs> Anytime I see the like Swagger Souls helmet, the only quote I can think of from Swagger is the one he says to Grizzy. <laughs> Like he just goes, "Hey Grizzy, I've got a lot of allegations that I'm racist. Can we, can we fuck?" <laughs> and Grizzy's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa." <laughs> yeah, that is. Uh... <laughs> well, at the time he was, he was like, "Well, I can't be racist if I'm fucking a black guy." And he goes, "Well, you can be a pedophile because I'm 17." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Editing, Spencer. Put that clip in. Yo, Grizzy, I got a lot of allegations about me being racist. Can we start having sex? <laughs> just, I wasn't just, expecting what? that. Just, <laughs> just, just, <laughs> well, I can't be. I can't be a racist if I'm fucking a black guy. Well, have more you subscribers can't be than him. Because I'm like seventeen. Just <laughs> 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 look mean as fuck. <laughs> Back. That honestly just looks mean as fuck. Yeah. What? Oh, you're back. What we are we were, talking about? We were looking at uh, Barnes's thing while you were gone. One of my other characters I play with a uh, with my group here. He just looks mean as hell with that helmet. Yeah. I might keep it. Fuck it. I'm keeping it. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, uh, you're now left with that, and we are going to jump back over to Javon and Lynx now. Um, help. Help. <laughs> help. Ow. <laughs> now. The two of you are now being kind of moved off to some uh, much needed back <laughs> By being farm and carried. <laughs> you're being you're being gurneyed. Oh, okay. Spencer. Good. <laughs> you're being hover gurneyed. Cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna I like you can walk. Just gonna point and make it just like links, you did this. Just letting you know you did this. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm not denying it. <laughs> Never said I didn't do it. Just unfortunate that I did. Yeah. He's like, you shouldn't have spazzed out. Pretty much. Okay, so. Um, so. Um, you two are hooked up to Bacta mm -hmm. and begin the much, much needed healing process. Mm -hmm. Um, you are neither of you are in full submersion, Bacta, so you can still function and talk. And they're recommending full submersion back to for you, Jafon, but yeah. <laughs> they're recommending it for after a certain uh, amount of regular back to. Yeah, I'm just keeping my head above the water. <laughs> Pretty much. 
So how did you end it? I have to know. Killed him. Huh? He's asking you how you ended it, and I said, well, I killed him. Like, description-wise. Mm -hmm. I stabbed him through the chest and shot him in the stomach a few times. Just a few. Did you put that mine on him? Or grenade it was a charge him? pad. Hmm. A charge pack. And that yeah. didn't kill him, because then he killed me. Well, judging from the look of it, he was pretty damn close to it. But I couldn't gather the strength to stop him before he came over to you. Hmm. Well... No, he's gone. And I am... the leader? No? Looks like it. That'll be fun to explain. Any, mm -hmm. any idea where the other... where Barnes or... Barnes? Who's Barnes? I don't know, Barnes. Who's this Barnes you talking about? <laughs> huh? Who the, who the hell? <laughs> who the hell? Who? Where, where's, uh... Where's Ren? I'm not quite sure. I sent Probably him after. To... <laughs> All I remember is that the last time that I saw him, I sent him after to find uh, Lieutenant Commander Dalo. Probably going to be coming in Med Bay pretty soon. <laughs> Speaking of which. Yeah, at that moment. Probably <laughs> about to be coming in there. Speaking of which, um, Tilly walks in, um, well, more like limps in with Doss over her shoulder, not primarily, you know. Yeah. And <laughs> Doss is beat the fuck up. Tilly? What happened out yeah. there? Uh, uh, do you want the truth? Or... <laughs> the truth is the best option with me. Okay, well, how do I put this? And Das immediately starts up. He's like, all right, so we went to go and rescue you. Fought some stormtroopers, killed some stormtroopers. Um, then they we got them to surrender because Schnarr showed up. I mean, Snar brought us in. Um, and we, you know, we're trying to save you. Uh, we got them to surrender. And then the ship blew up. And in the chaos, I was stranded on the other side of uh, the ship. And. I got into a small scuffle with uh, what's his name? And he's like, he's like looking at Tilly and like, what's his name? And she's like, uh, Lennon Denal. He's like. Yeah. Um and he took my armor, uh, held me at gunpoint and made me get into his and then knocked me out. Um I guess tried to blend in and got found out and a whole bunch of other stuff and now we're here. Uh he's dead by the way. Uh we're gonna need a new uh stormtrooper officer on board. Uh Interesting. 
Hmm. What about end? I'm ahead now. Just ahead. Lot of bullshit. I see your body. <laughs> Ow. Hurts to laugh. <laughs> now that's funny. Oh, it hurts me too. <laughs> <laughs> not so funny anymore. I guess, uh, I'm the Grand Inquisitor now. Here's what? Yeah. I don't think he's doing that. Here's what? Of... He's <laughs> the know leader what? of the other guys with the lightsabers. You know what? Uh, <laughs> I Jax, like this character now. <laughs> Jax, you and... <laughs> I didn't mean to roll that. <laughs> you and Thrawn are, like, walking into the med bay at the time that you hear... <laughs> <laughs> and go, well, I'm the Grand Inquisitor now. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just tell you, you're the what? <laughs> you're the what? I, I knew I liked you for a reason, Doss. <laughs> I knew I did. Fuck, this hurts. And why can't I get a fucking promotion around here? Oh, God. Yeah, me too. Get in line, buddy. <laughs> we'll talk about We'll talk about promotions with all three of you after we've all recovered. Understood? Mm. Oh, God. Let's do it to a good fucking shot. So, <laughs> Nall's dead. Uh, um, we're technically traitors to the Empire, but I don't think anyone's going to care after that explosion. Um, shut up. Keep your mouth shut. They already know. Keep your mouth shut. Listen. Considering the fact that you're working under me, the guy who's been court-martialed twice. Yep. And the guy that... I think that, that, no I think that it can't be a thing that we're going to be making a lot of moves against them, yep. even if we don't even realize it. No offense, throwing even the guy that cut his arm off. <laughs> you're no in offense. charge of the spinny blade guys now. <laughs> And That's you, Admiral. I killed the lead guy with the spinny blade. How the fuck did you do that? Well... I blew him up. <laughs> you mean it was that easy? Mm. <sighs> well, no. But it helped. Damn! What else did you do? I'm sorry. I don't. I don't understand his combat prowess. I haven't been with him in combat. <laughs> oh yeah. Trust uh, me. I, Trust uh, me. I him a Trust you, me, Doss. We, we. Yeah. You do what? Special. He's special. I stabbed and shot him. You stabbed the spinny blade guy. <laughs> yes. With what? Did you have a spinny blade thing yourself? Uh. Yes, but it doesn't spin. Why the fuck does he have a non-spinny spinny blade thing? Uh, I love this I guy. This At this, I found this one. At this moment, I'm just going to sink into the back to like, no, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> you found it. Yes. Where? Somewhere. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> and he, he turns back to you, Jackson, goes, where did he find it? Technically, I found it. Where did you I, find I, it? I asked him to find it. Why go. did you ask him to find it? <laughs> Later time, we need to recover, all right? No, I'll, tell, no. I'll, t I'll tell you all this <laughs> under a few drinks, okay? I, 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 and he, like, fucking picks up, like, a, like, a scoop of, like, back with his hand. He goes, here's my drink, tell me. <laughs> I'm so I am beyond invested. I don't now. think you should inhale that, you, but I. <laughs> I don't think that's how that does. Um, is he about to pass out? Dos. Good. Five, Dos. Four. I three, used to shoot this stuff two, up. One. That's that. And then Tilly's like, "We all do. We all fucking do." And he's like, "Yeah." <laughs> Uh, like, hmm. Come in, Doss. I need get, come on, come on, come on. You're coming with me. And then he's like, actually, my head hurts. So I think I'm gonna lay down. <laughs> this 
This is what we've been missing. <laughs> I love this guy now. Mm. And Docs is just like, God, I hate how many voices are here. I'm mm. I'm in the back. To, I'm not in part. I'm of this. here. So many voices. Oh, yeah, he's concussed. No, I'm yeah. not. How many fingers am I holding up? And I'm I'm holding up two. How many fingers am I holding up? I haven't opened my eyes, but according to one of the voices, it said it said two. Well, I was telling you for two, like so you know. I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's a fourth wall broken fucker. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. What the fuck is a fourth wall? <laughs> You'll find out later. Just go to sleep. I think I should lay down. Just just go to sleep. Yeah, you're right. And he lays down. <laughs> <laughs> and he sits he sits back up and he goes, Why are you telling me that I lay down? The fourth wall broke in. <laughs> and one of, the, one of the medics comes over and goes, oh no, I've I've seen this before. Oh, <laughs> and God. fucking jabs him with something and he just passes out. Thank you. Thank you. Don't worry. It's just a concussive thing. He'll be uh, fine. There's uh, no other voices. Secretly inside, there's a lot of voices in my head. And so many people I've killed. So, so we are going to do a short time skip before the main time skip. Okay. All right. For us to get things arranged here. Mm. So, um. We are so three days past, and Jafon, you're now feeling pretty, pretty decent. You've spent about the last like close to fifty hours straight submerged. Nice. Everyone's up and moving around, and you guys are um at. You guys are all like, so Jax, you, your squad, Lynx, Jafon, all of you are at the, the like chow hall. And you're all just kind of sitting. Not all of you are eating. Whoever wants to be eating is eating. Whoever doesn't is not. Simple as that. I probably will be. Oh, yeah. No, you're starving. Oh, yeah. You will. You are starving. You've been treating yeah. the cafeteria like a buffet today. <laughs> As Spencer always does. So. I guess I'll be eating too. Okay, so, uh, Jax, are you eating? No, I'm just sitting there drinking like, because mm, that's still processing in my head. Like, I got to get to the to the pad to the I will say that actually by this point you have the data pad I you do. just can't seem to get into it hmm. within this three days you may you went out of your way to make the small trip hmm. you're just having a hard time encrypting it and at this exact second you haven't like turned to somebody else yet yet not out of like I can't I gotta do this myself, but out of just like frustration of like I can do this. I don't need help, fuck y'all. <laughs> and Doss and, and Doss finishes his bite real quick and he goes Where's the Wookiee? Did he run fuck off him. again? Fuck him. 
He's a mercenary. He does what he needs to. Yeah, but doesn't he have a contract with the Empire? Just because he has a contract to work with us doesn't mean that he's always on call for us. He's He is perfectly eligible to go and make his own work. He usually shows up when we most need him. And yeah, but he was... Rarely he, ever. He was just with us the other day. I mean, yeah, he, he it's, blew us it's in. He was. It's, it's Snar. It's, he, he's special. He's special. How do you know? I grew up with him. <laughs> you did what? Yes, my family and his family is actually really close. So I grew up with him. How? Don't it's some kind of, it's ancestry, all right? It's apparently my great grandfather, great 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 grandfather's and his great 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 grandfather, something or another. We're good friends, all right? That means that you guys are friends. I'm so I'm so confused by everything and everyone here. Welcome to the squad. I love it here. Exactly. Mm. Well, at least someone made a positive outlook on it. Welcome to the squad. Good luck. And, um... All of you are, um... Sitting there when... Your personal, like, Imperial issue data pads. Beep, 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 beep. And the specific beep that it does, you guys recognize as... Oh god, new orders. Oh fuck. Alright, well I guess well yeah, I'll take a look. And who would like to read their orders first? I will, since I am the Admiral. <laughs> Special bitch. <laughs> it's not like we're taking turns in in the game. <laughs> we're just You're taking right. turns in real life. <laughs> Special um, bitch. <laughs> so you're so you are to patrol the outer rim territories, um, mm. hunting pirates, smugglers, wabbits, wabbits, um, and listening out for hut activity, moving more towards the inner rim. Oh God! Hmm. Great. So basically, keep the bad people out of the nice place. The fucking hoods. Yes. Okay, I can do that. Um, uh, hey, do you also like... have the tagline of needing to uh, assign <laughs> some positions? Oh, you yeah. need to assign them. Nice. I hate dealing with huts. Why does it gotta be huts? And with that, Jose, you can either choose somebody that you have on hand in your crew already or get a list of names and everything. Well, I can't exactly look at my crew, so... Yeah, because, like, your whole crew manifesto is still kind of, like, just... Who is even under me? Right. <laughs> because the crew has been so fucked up so many times. Whoever you ask. Um, I'll, just, I'll just get a list. Okay. At um, this rate. Besides, considering how we just lost a few people, I'm pretty sure I could look at some things. Is this just coming across his or all of ours? That's his at the moment. Okay. Oh, there's one name that's 
That's missing from there. Just edit it. Yeah, I'm doing that. <laughs> So this is for new uh, lieutenant over the stormtroopers on board. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Hey, you can by all means not choose that one. I could. Mm. Mm. But. At the same time, I would feel wrong not. That's why I'm going to go core Cardar. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I think I'll go with the last one. Okay. Um, well, then... So that's the only position that you have that is like immediate, like fill. Mm -hmm. Um, and your orders just stand, Jax. Your yours beeps again. What the fuck? They got a new special one for me. Fuck. And you look down, and um, like confetti drapes down from the top <laughs> of the like data pad. You hear, you hear like one of those like. One of those, like, party blowers. You know? <laughs> eh. <laughs> Congratulations on the promotion. I figured that's what y'all was talking about. <laughs> yeah, um, yours is the name he forgot. Of course it was! No, the thing is, is I meant to put it, but, I, but instead of hitting, um... Shift and return. I just hit return. Oh, I feel that. I hate that when that happens. <laughs> um, I had to do it and multiple on times. Your, and on your data pad, uh, you see um, recommendation for sergeant of the squad, and you really just have two choices. Yeah. Tilly or Doss. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know who I'm putting as a sergeant. Doss. <laughs> oh, no. No, obviously it's gonna be it's gonna be Oru. Exactly. Doss is just in there looking over his corner like you gonna pick me. You gonna pick me. You gotta pick me. <laughs> Yo, I'll give you I'll give you my peanut butter for my MRE if you do. But, un <laughs> but underneath that, you also you also see that like your orders are to continue supporting, you know, supporting Admiral Shuno. Yeah. Um. So so who? So you're moving Tilly up. I'm moving Tilly up, and okay. Doss is ag officially getting a corporal position. <laughs> Their data pads both. Both beep again, and they're like, "Oh my god!" And Tilly's like, Whoa. and Doss is like, yes. <laughs> "Finally, I get the <laughs> fucking position for the rank I have." You're welcome. Oh my god! I could kiss you in so many places right now. You do that, I will fucking stab you. I don't want to. <laughs> All right, we're on equal terms. Get stabbed. Huh? Unless it's with your knife that's below the belt. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just going to sit there just but laughing. No. That's all but no. <laughs> you laugh, your, your side still kind of hurts a tiny yeah, bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Ow. It's just I'm like just, I'm, I'm just going to pull my knife out. You want to get stabbed too? It'll be the first time. Oh no, shit! <laughs> and um, <laughs> and Jafon, mm. you look at your data pad. Yep. And it says that for 
an undetermined amount of time, you will be returning to Fortress Inquisitorius to yep. get used to your new position. <sighs> this is going to be fun. And then, um, <laughs> Jax, you look at your squad again, and before you, you now have, you know, an open private slot. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's going to be filled when they just assign someone out. But uh, you see uh, also an immediate command of Mercenary Schnarfreshka. Mm. Wait, what? And that's when you realize that in your little, like, like, on your belt, you've been carrying around Shinar's fucking data pad, too, and it goes off, and you pull it out real quick and look at it. And it says, um, as per the terms of your perpetual contract, uh, you will continue aiding. Admiral Shuno. <laughs> His contract does not state that he can get up and go yeah. without getting permission from the contract giver first. So he has to get permission from you, Lynx, before he can go. But he's already gone. Well. <laughs> I'll belittle him when he comes back. Yes. <laughs> I will belittle him when he comes back. I'll just stab him a little bit. No, 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 no. No stabby. Can I at least... Worky. Can I at least take a toe? I can stab yeah. him. I stab him just because he's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like to imagine that, like, Jax, like, stood up for that, and he, like, t got him to his tiptoes for a second, like, I'll stab him just because he's my friend. <laughs> and then he sits back down completely serious. And now Thrawn joins you guys. And he goes... Welcome to the table. So, is... Has everyone received their new orders? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Well, that's great. <clears throat> He's looking at his data pad. You're like, <laughs> Would you get? I still have not received uh, new orders. Wait, who is this? Thrawn. Thrawn. <clears throat> ah. So, for the time being, I guess I am stuck here on Coruscant. <laughs> well, I know what you're doing. If you would prefer, rather than sitting around and waiting for orders, you could come and assist me with mine. Nothing serious, mind you, but it's entirely your decision if you choose to join us. I will consider it. You sly bitch. Well, my communicator is always available. Should you make the decision, you need only call. Well, I thank you for that. But I think for now, I will... Um, As of the moment, my decision is to stay. Understood. Uh, excuse me. Jesus. Well, I've been eating a lot. Let me be. <laughs> um, I would like to have a word with uh, your high command staff, though. Um, if 
you included as well, um, if you would allow me to. I don't see why not. Um, well, once we are in a party in which you are comfortable um, for me to speak, then I shall. Of course. And he gets up, and his seat is immediately replaced by Lieutenant Commander Dalo. Hmm. She is sitting multiple, like, people away from you, Jafon. Yeah, I kind of figured. Just gonna keep eating, not even look at her. I'm just gonna straight stare like... Mm. <laughs> Hello, LC. Hello, Admiral. In a short while, Admiral Thrawn would like to see me along with the rest of my command. Well, I assume that according to the new orders, um, that would be me as well. Yes. I can't believe I'm going to be the deck officer for a Star Destroyer. And I, I turn to look directly over to her before speaking. Pray you don't disappoint me. And she looks at you and goes, well, then pray you don't disappoint me, Admiral. Hmm. Hmm. Feisty bitch. <laughs> I have a lot of respect for you, and I hope to learn many, many great things from you as well. Here's hoping all you can do is learn from me. Whether it be from my mistakes or from my success. And then hopefully I can take what I've learned on to my own command. Perhaps. What? I guess um, I should go then and uh, I guess get ready for my first official meeting. Make sure to call whenever you need to be prepared. Can do. I'll go ahead and get um, all of our higher ranking staff um, contacted. Um, is there anyone who is not a crew member who you wish present? Or anyone who is not high command staff that you wish present as well? Does what Ren count? Uh, Jax is not high command staff. Okay, then I'd say that we'll bring him along to that. Because he is still now Fixer. Oh, oh command. right, yeah. Okay, then I'll just bring Fixer along. He's cooler. <laughs> wow. Bitch. <laughs> Fucking bitch. You, are you going to disagree that Fixer is cooler than you? This picture is, but damn, <laughs> fuck you! Yeah, like, I just imagined he says, eh, no one I can think of, and then as she walks off, both of us are just in there like, what the fuck, man? <laughs> I didn't invite you, I didn't invite you, Jafon, because you're gonna be gone for months. True, but still. Still, it's hurtful. My, my feelings are hurt. I'm leaving. <laughs> Like, and oh, then, boy, oh, shit. Be gone till they say I can come back. <laughs> and then uh, Shinar's data pad beeps. You look at it, Jax, and it's a uh, formal invitation to the high ranking officers meeting. <laughs> oh, that motherfucker! And you look. All of you, all of you, look over at her, and she's standing over by one of the doorways, just laughing. <laughs> <laughs> and she turns and walks off. 
Okay, so then, Jose, I will actually end up talking to you in private about that meeting. Yeah. Because it's not, even, it's not even something that I want to be on a whisper. Mm, not even in the video. Not okay. even in the video. Okay, oh, okay. Bitch. It's going to be very private. And it's... Yeah. Okay. So, so uh, now we will do our time skip. So, um, Jafon, in between, you know, learning your new duties, uh, having to toss around a couple of other inquisitors every now and then because they're like, you don't deserve it. <laughs> yeah. And generally feeling uneasy the entirety of the four months. Yeah. Because you feel like there's always somebody watching with daggers in your back. Yep. Well, I mean, that's um, kind of just the norm with Inquisitors. Yeah. Yeah, but like even more so. Now you actually have something they want. Before then, you were just another one of the people in the rat race. Now you've won the rat race. Yeah. Um. But in between all that, is there anything specific you'd like to be working on? Hmm. I'll say while I'm there. I would like to look for look for anything of what remains of 18. Because all we saw was that was his mask. You do find him, and he is in a torture chamber, clinging to life. Mm. As, as I find him, did I find him alone, or did I just... Or did I have people following me? Uh, you found him alone. Okay. I'm gonna walk up to him. And just go, Well, looks like one of us got caught. I hear you're the... <clears throat> big guy now. I am in an odd sense. And as I So what are you gonna do with me? After he asks that I will take out my axes and cut whatever's holding him. Okay. He drops and he goes. Have you found a new, a new loyalty to the Empire? <laughs> loyalty. Hey. Not Shut really. Up. But. Might need your skills for something. You know what, Spencer? <laughs> There's something that I've decided to do in just this moment. He, you found him within like your first, let's say three weeks. Yeah. Because the torture chambers are a labyrinth. Mm. <laughs> Probably for a reason. Yes. And he, when he's dropped on the ground, he goes, No. What do you need help with? Who else is in this that you know of that are like us? None of them. Well, then I guess we might have to change some minds. Maybe not fully against the Empire. What if we 
Made our own. Our own what? We don't have to be the Empire. We don't have to be behind them. We could be beyond them. The Inquisitorius could be its own force. No pun intended. Are you saying that we denounce the dark side? A little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. We use it, but only when necessary, or if it suits us better. But we stay in the in what we are now. We use what we can. Well, I'll have you know, I never finished training. Hmm. Then let's get to it. After you've healed, because obviously you're shit to me. And he, and he looks at you and he goes, Are you offering to take me on as an apprentice? Not in that way, but we'll see. Come on, number two. Let's get you at least in a healed state. So I'm being promoted to number two as well? Yep. Oh, this is... Second sister is not going to be happy about that. No, but he won't know about it yet. So for now, what do we tell them? Everybody stays in their same position. But until you and I can get more things done, then we'll see where that goes. Who knows? Maybe, I mean, maybe you'll fight too. We'll see. I'm meaning about me. They all know I'm a traitor. <laughs> Unless you plan to tell them that it was some misunderstanding. Uh, yeah. I'll figure something out. You just sit tight for a bit. And during this four month time, do you re and do you bring him back into the Inquisitorius properly? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you tell everyone when they when, when you have like your inquisitors, like your highest inquisitors there, and you state that you're reinstating his inquisitorship? Say he was under a mind a mind trick. One that lasted for months. He was tricked into following the rebellion. But everything that happened during that time was wiped from his memory. So he was not in control of his own actions. And I've put him through a test. To see it, that he is rightfully back in his place. Okay, and then you're going to start setting the seed of doubt of the Empire, I assume, for the rest of the four months? Slowly but surely. Okay, roll a perception check. I mean, not perception. Persuasion. My bad. Yaga Baba. Seven. Mmm. That's not going so well. No. It's a slow process. <laughs> okay, now roll me another one. Yeah, boy. 16. That's, mm. better. That's better. And another. Yeah, about 14. And another. 
fetus. Fourteen. Another fourteen. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so... Um, so during that four month time, you have now brought into your small fold, uh, the 94th brother. Good. <laughs> It's a start. Yeah. Just I mean, he's still an, inqui I just still imagine an inquisitor in training, but... Just imagine it's the smallest one. Just like, yeah, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> well, I mean, he, he's he got an up on uh, six people. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's the 94th out of 100. Yeah. It's a start. Yeah. So, um, I think that's okay. So I think that's all because the other things I want to do, I cannot do at this moment. Okay. Um, Jax. Mm hmm. What are you doing in this, uh, four month span? Mm hmm. Basically, just getting used to my new uh, position. Yep, because you have you were in charge of two platoons that um, have uh, three squads each. Yeah. Uh, could I s possibly be able to get into said thing yet? Uh, roll a um, let's see, roll a technology. Oh, God. And roll another one. And roll another one. Mm. On the third month, you finally crack it. <laughs> finally! And in it, you find a ton of mentions of a Project Stardust. Mm. And oh. a couple of other projects that are hidden behind other encrypted informations. Oh, fuck. Um, Is Project Stardust the one with... Uh... Against the Mandalorians. So you no. find Project. Yeah. Oh. If, gonna, if, you would, if you would like to, yeah. Project Stardust is the Death Star. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. Huh. So a couple of other ones just to uh Name a few more. Um, that you can see. You can see, is, but can't see the details of. Yes. Is um, is I got it right here. Is uh, Project Biohound. 
Huh? Why do I feel like I know which one that is? Uh, the N K project. Project G node. Imperial Pro Bioweapons Project 17, well, I-71A. Did you send all this to me so I can write it down? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and I mean, you I still, like... you've still got some time that uh, you'll be able to attempt to crack. Yeah. Yeah. And we can do rolls for that in a second. Um, also, he's over there spoiling himself. Well, I mean, one of them I already knew about, I just forgot about it. And hell, that one showed up by accident. <laughs> Um, you find, um, you find one under SC, just project SC, one under SI. And Project Sarlacc. Well, that one sounds a little on the nose. Well, that um. So, uh, would you like to take, would you like to spend a few days? I will say you have, let's give you 30 days, and each attempt is three days. Mm. Um, so, you essentially have 10 attempts to crack any of these that you want. Mm hmm And you could try for multiple. Like, if you crack one, you've still got time. All right, let's try to crack a few more. Okay. So, which one are you trying to go for? Oh. Uh... I'm, 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 I'm going to go one sev uh, I-71. Okay. Uh, go ahead and roll a technology check. Okay, uh, you do not get it. Uh, 27 days remaining. I'll try again. Okay. Fuck. 24 days remaining. Oh, yeah. Oh, is that for the same one still? Yes. Okay. So... From what you can find, um, Imperial Weapons, Bioweapons Project, I-71A, the sickness. And, um, it is kind of, it's pretty vague, but, <clears throat> um, 
re-bringing in a disease originally created by the Sith Lord Darth Drear on Odacer Faustin sometime prior to 4645 um, BBY. So for you, it would actually be... So it would be 46, uh, no, mm. yeah, 40, 46, 28, um, ATC. Um, and for you guys, uh, that is after the Treaty of Coruscant. This is this is the one with uh, the actual Death Troopers. Correct. Oh fuck. Yes, and you have the location of Imperial. Imperial class one star destroyer vector. Um, and you are getting current status reports. Like the most recent status report is a day old on on um code name Blackwing. So this is still up and running. So for I don't know if you've read that book, Barnes, but I know Jose and I have. Mm -hmm. And so it's still active right now. It hasn't gotten to the point of the book yet. Okay, so it, it, it hasn't breached containment yet. Yes, it is still, according to everything that you find, and I mean, you don't fully know because it doesn't mention undead. It just mentions that it's a sickness and a disease. But as of the moment, it is still contained. Okay, so that would be So 21 days remaining. And you have one cracked mm -hmm. already. So you have seven more attempts. Mm. I'll even change this in your notes. I'm going to spend a few days with my platoons training okay how many days uh well the thing is is like so are you wanting to focus purely on that because you're doing that while you're also doing that this is more like a side project which is why it's taking you three days to do it oh okay okay for attempt okay uh yeah this is like something that like you're going back to your to your room since you now have a bigger proper room yeah now and you're kind of sitting there pulling up the data pad and going at it oh uh, i'm going to the try the, the nk project okay okay um <laughs> you crack it and you have all the information here. Um. And it is, um,
Mm. You just you just see um oh did you just look it up? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Um the NK Necrosis droid. Using the remains and personal effects of the late General Grievous. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah, in Star Wars what they uh NK. NK? Yeah. They made one really, really good droid and they tried to recreate it and it failed a bunch. Well, no wonder the doctor's name was Nikolai. Nikolai. All right, well, I now know them two. Okay, so now you have... Um... Uh, six more attempts. Oh, I'm gonna try Genode. Okay, that one didn't go. Five more attempts. Four more attempts. Three more attempts. All right, oh, you got Genode. I got Genode. Oh. Genode is um, trying to create a new group of clones using uh, Arcanian um, cloning technology and specifically enhancing them to be stronger basically, and better. Yeah, basically the super soldier project again. Yep. Okay, but... Even with this, art, do I already know the uh, thing about Stardust? Yes, the Stardust is pretty much unlocked. So that leaves you with, what, two attempts to unlock something? Uh, I think so. Mm-hmm. Oh, see, I keep trying to look up one of them, but it keeps just pointing me to South Carolina. You put a, a grievous spot under SI, that was the NK project. Oh, yep, you're right. Oh. That's my bad. Mm. Yeah, two more attempts. Project Sarlacc just sounds like they're trying to recreate something with the Sarlacc pit, honestly. I'm going to go SC. Okay. See, that's the one I keep trying to look up, but it keeps pointing me to South Carolina. One more attempt. Okay. Uh, you cracked it. Um, so you find that this is actually um, a Republic project that has now been picked up by the Empire. Um, and you find that there has only been one prototype used and that was during the Battle of Christophsis by Jedi General Anakin Skywalker. Hmm. And that's the stealth ship that uh, they take in that one episode to deliver the supplies. Oh, um, the stealth cruiser. The stealth corvette. And they, they, the Empire is currently in the process of mass producing them. Hmm. Trying to, at least. Yeah. Trying to. It wouldn't be a project if they were. So, you know about four projects now, right? 
five. Yeah. Stardust. You know about yeah. Stardust. You know about Blackwing. You know about NK. And you know about the Stealth Cruiser project. And G Node. And G Node. Oh, and G Node. So five. And Barnes, you can do as much personal reading on those as you want. What you found there was like quick overviews, but it's deeper. It, it it goes deeper on the data pad. Like he has a lot of information on these projects. So then we switch over to links. What are you wanting to do in this time? Well, during this time, while I'm in between trying to catch pirates and, you know, make sure the fat huts don't do anything in the inner room, mm -hmm. I guess I'll be bouncing back and forth between a few things. Okay. Um, I think it'll be a bounce between lightsaber training. Okay. Um. Uh, force training. Uh, and then I guess trying to dig deeper into the memories. I feel like there was something else that I should have done, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, right. Uh, f like physical training, because we talked about it earlier, about giving like a good canonical reason why I'm suddenly multi-classed. Yeah. Um, Which I'll chalk that up to both the combination of practical training and uh, experience whenever it came to trying to capture pirates and stuff. So I would like to, I would like for you to give me a series of four D100 rules. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to look page to load again, or I might have to load it again. So give me one second. Come on. Okay. So, D100. Well, how many? Uh, four D100s. That's huh? weird. Uh -huh. That's weird. What? what? I'm seeing this, right? You yeah, know, it's, yeah. Mm hmm. That's 57, oh. 75, 57, 50. Huh? That hurts my brain. No. What did you do? That hurts my brain. I just rolled. Is that is that okay? I don't know. Do we do we get him to redo it? No. <laughs> Do, do you want me to re-roll with my physical dice? <laughs> Maybe. But real quick side note, somebody uh, in Mountain View, Arkansas is selling a rappel tower. <laughs> okay. How tall? Uh, 40. Hmm. Very intriguing. Five grand. Very fucking intriguing. Got working electricity. Uh, cooling systems for inside in case you wanted to live in it. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, but... Um... That roll still baffles me. 
<laughs> I know it's screwing up my I'll be right back. Okay. So that you can you can re-roll that if you would like to. <laughs> okay. My thing is doing something. Oh. Ah. Uh. Should I re-roll digitally or physically? Uh, do it digitally first. If we have another. If we have another weird thing happen. We'll do it physically. Okay. Okay, no, it's, well, it's fine different. this time. There was a 56 in there, though. Yeah. I mean, that's fine. The other one was only, like, one lower. Or this one's only one lower than the other averages. Okay, so... Um, so you're asleep one night. Okay. And you wake, you wake up and you look around and, um, to Gurton, right? What? Or was it a Targurton or was it a Twi'lek? Uh, Targurton. Okay. No thought. Um, female too, right? Yes. Okay. That's what I, that's what I thought, but I wanted to be extra sure. Um, mm -hmm. so you wake up and you're in a much smaller room, sleeping on a mat on the floor. Um, you feel the weight of like a braid on your chest. And then in walks a very tall Togrutin female. She looks at you and goes, Good morning, my Padawan. I hope that the night has treated you well. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be interacting with this or not, so. You are. Okay. I just sit up from the small map and is this supposed to be lucid or is this supposed to be just like memories, like specifically just memories? Lucid. Okay. Where, where am I? I know everyone gets confused their first night in the temple, but this will be your room for perhaps even the rest of your life. This is home now. Home. Right. Um. Okay. We what? We have to get your studies underway. I have a lot to teach you today. Uh, we have to go by. Uh. We have to go by the archives. Um, uh, Master New, she is holding some books there for me. Um, I wish to take you around to the younglings while Master Yoda is in their teaching um, so that you may see how far you have come. Um, I'm pretty sure I remember Master Yoda from the last vision. You do. Okay. So that name does ring a bell. Yes. 
and and the image because I do remember that he was like the only one that I saw. Yes. Okay. Um, so there's some snippets of familiarity. And I know all of you young ones are obsessed with him, but um, Master Master Kenobi and J Jedi Knight Skywalker have come back from a siege in the Outer Rim. I feel like I remember the name Kenobi, but not Skywalker from the last one. But would I remember the name Skywalker in general? Vaguely. You think you've heard it a couple of times, but you're not exactly sure where you've heard it. Okay. <clears throat> um... Um, you know, I'm good, I'm good friends with, um, Padawan Ahsoka Tano, if you would like to talk about what it's like being Anakin Skywalker's apprentice. Um, yes, uh, and that sounds like it would be a good idea. And then, um, I mean to bring you by the Senate chambers. Uh, you, you must meet Chancellor Palpatine. <laughs> well, that one's just a fucking immediate. Yeah. It's like, oh, God. Whoa. <laughs> um, but I, I will have to call ahead. I do not know when he might be, um, you know, available, busy. Um, and then I plan to let you go and see your friends. All I right. will not deprive you of being a child just because you on the path to becoming a Jedi Master. Right. And that word, those two words hit you like a fucking freight train. It's like, oh yeah, yeah, no, I'm gonna go see my friends. Wait a minute, a fucking what? Oh. Oh god. Is something wrong, my Padawan? Um, no, sorry, just, I suppose I'm still a little frazzled is all. I understand completely. I remember my first day. But that was a long, long time ago. And um, um, <sighs> Master Kiati Mundi is very very busy these days, so I do not get to catch up with my former master. Of course, I understand. But, again, I do not wish to deprive you of being a child. You deserve that. Master Mundi let me be a child as well, and I feel I am so much more head than my fellow newly appointed masters. Oh. 
but I appreciate the opportunity, Master. Well, I suppose we should get our day started then. Um, oh, we do have to go and uh. We, you did not do it, um, if I'm correct. Correct me if I'm wrong. But you never went on your Padawan trials um, with Master Hu Yang, did you? I don't believe I have, ma'am. Master. Ma ma'am. Ma'am. Ma 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 Master. We, we will go and we will get that all sorted out today so that you can build yourself your own lightsaber. Noted! I heard that echo. And that's when it starts to pull out. Um, and then you wake up in your normal chambers in a cold sweat, still wondering exactly if that was your vision or someone else's, since your name was never mentioned. Valid point. Still providing very useful information. Uh, with the information that I have, I quickly make my way back over to my desk, my personal desk. Um, and jot down all the information that I uh, had memorized into my personal, like, notepad or booklet or whatever the fuck it is. I put it in it last time uh, before putting it back into my desk. And just taking a moment to let myself calm down. Okay, uh, you do, and even though it's late in the middle of what should be night, you know, mm -hmm. um, you, um, your communicator goes off, your long-range communicator. Okay, I pick it up. Um. Admiral Shuno, this is Admiral Thrawn. Um, I am reaching oh, out to him. Um, oh, good question. Yes. So what month is this that this happened on? Uh, the vision is happening in the middle of the third month. Okay. Well, I actually more to towards remember. the end of the third month. Okay, so we're getting close to the start of the fourth one. Yeah, you, you've had some time to, like, you know, train and get your mentality correct and everything. Right. Um, this is Admiral Mithron, you're old, though. Um, I am reaching out to inform you that it is almost time. And the thing, so this is where it's going to be hard for you for a little bit until I talk to you after the session. But mm -hmm. he is meaning it is time to begin preparing for uh, the thing that the private meeting was about. Ah, and okay. I will tell you how you prep for that is make sure everyone is ready for war. Okay. So as he says those words, I give a small nod, mostly to myself, since it's not visible to him. Of course, mm. I'll make sure all the preparations are ready before we depart. Good. I will talk to you in about a month's time. Understood.
Have, have a good rest of your month. I wish you luck on your missions. And to you as well, Admiral Thrawn. And the communication cuts. What do you plan to do with the last month of time? Okay, so I guess that last month's time is going to be used to uh, help train myself with where I get the extra levels and uh, operative from. Okay. Um... On top of just basic other preparations that I usually do anyway. Well, um, if that is the case... Oh, oh. actually... What's up? I'm gonna take um, yeah. I'm gonna take some time talking to whichever it is the closest uh, officer that I can uh, about getting extra information on these new names that I have. Okay. Yeah. Of uh, of because I think that last time I didn't really get too much of a chance to do it. Of uh, all I really have is. Yoda, Anakin Skywalker, uh, Obi Wan Kenobi, Kiati Mundi, and then Hugh Yang. Hugh Yang. You also have Ahsoka. Yeah, Ahsoka Tana. So I'm gonna talk to them about seeing if I can get any information out of any of those names, because if I can't get any information from them, I'm gonna have to turn my my information hunt to your fawn, considering that now I know specifically that this is Jedi that I'm looking for. Yeah, you're you're able to kind of steer your search a little bit now. Yeah. yeah. Instead of just being like, hmm, these are names. So I spend that last month kind of trying to dig up information on these names. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and you you do so pretty successfully because like except for Hugh Yang actually. Hugh Yang you can't find really any mention of. I guess that's not too surprising considering that's a name that's given to a droid. Yeah, because you... Like, during your search, you're searching, like, Hugh Yang Jedi, essentially. Yeah. yeah. Who was Jedi like, Hugh Yang? Yeah, Jedi Master, Hugh Yang. Jedi Knight, Hugh Yang. Uh, Hugh Yang, the Jedi. And you're finding mention of Hugh Yang in, like, Jedi's writings? But no but mention of who he is. is. Yeah. yeah. And it's all the same stuff of, like... The journey with Huey Yang was long and an incredible experience, you know, things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And you kind of start being like, man, if I ever did go with this Huey Yang guy, it's a shame I don't remember it with how much people are talking about him. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like one cool party, dude. Um, but yeah, so yeah, you you can find stuff on everybody except for Yu Yang. So I have a decent idea of like, okay, so Master Kenobi was a Jedi Master who uh, was who was killed during um during the end purge of the Jedi. After they attempted to overthrow the Republic the senator and yeah. take, take over power from Chancellor Palpatine, mm -hmm. Anakin Skywalker is pretty much the same. Yep. Uh, Ahsoka Tano, I would say, is also the same, even though it does make mention that she technically wasn't a Jedi, I would assume. It does. Okay. It does make mention that she was not a Jedi at the time of the treachery, but was still killed anyways. Mm -hmm. 
which which that's another thing that I kind of leave as like a little bookmark of like, hmm, that's interesting. Uh, Piatti Mundi, uh, also killed. Yep. Uh, Yoda, also. Would killed. they say that? Okay, so they do have them labeled as killed. Yes. Okay. In, in lore, in lore, he is publicly killed. Um, that his name is slipping in my mind, but um, the blue guy that follows Palpatine around. Yeah, because he tossed his lightsaber into the big fire of sabers. Yeah. Yeah. So Yoda is publicly dead. Okay. Even though the, even though Palpatine is pretty well aware that like yeah he's not dead. Yeah, but I mean honestly, in lore, I'm sure Palpatine knew a lot more. I'm sure he knew. Yeah. I mean he he definitely knew. Uh, he definitely knew Obi Wan was alive at least for a time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, knew Yoda. Honestly, probably knew Ahsoka was. Mm-hmm. Quite frankly. So, yeah, they're... They're... they're, Everyone you find, pretty much, that you can find information on, dead. Right. At least labeled as dead. Yeah. But that doesn't necessarily mean that I have to believe it 100%. It's just like, this this is what I'm finding. Yeah. But because of your imperial nature that you have now in life, you are slightly inclined to believe it more. Yeah, because it's like, I, I wouldn't be able to believe, like, oh, well, they of course they didn't fucking do this. Yeah, you, as of the moment, you are still in, like, a full belief that, like... The Empire is completely powerful. Well, uh, you... As of this moment, you would still hold the belief that, like, at the end of the day, the Jedi did try to overthrow the Republic. Yeah. Because where you've had the one, like, two people say otherwise, those are two people compared to everything that you know you know. Right. And even then, like, the first vision that I had was that of me running from uh, Republic clone troopers. Mm-hmm. But there's no telling whether or not if I was experiencing that as, you know, myself or someone else who was part of a treacherous group. Yep. So, um, with uh, that, I think we're going to leave the session off. We okay. covered what needed to be covered, and... When we come back, interesting things. Very interesting things. So. Goodbye, nerd. I bid you adieu. And I'm sure I'll see you in just a minute. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do it, so. Okay. All right. I'll see you other two bitch babies later. Goodbye. Alrighty. Bye-bye. All right, Barnes. Say the words. All right, bub. We need to grow that outro. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>